I went with Save the Children to some of the slums of Delhi and I, I was upset and uneasy to see the situation that, oh my God, I have come back to square one from where I thought I'll never do this kind of work. And then, first few hours, I was walking around with them in the streets and I said, oh God, I don't know how I'm going to handle this. And then I didn't take any pictures, so slowly, you know, the volunteers, ladies who were working with the pregnant women and others, they took me inside the huts where they were looking after the pregnant women and sick children. And then I started seeing hope and making a difference to the lives of ordinary people. This is, the, this is the reality of the uh, story of India's growth story that needs to be highlighted at every stage. The genuine progress has to be measured in terms of what we are doing to the lives of these children and I think these pictures capture them much more brilliantly than any, any number can do that. So thank you very much. These children, their resilience, their uh, tenacity, their uh, Sheer will to survive is inspiring at one end and at another end one cannot cannot ignore the fact that these are all around us and for some reason we have stopped looking. We don't want to let any child die uh, due to preventable causes. You know, that is our vision of this campaign. Save the Children India, uh, simply because uh, it is, uh, in one sense, uh, leading uh, uh, the, the campaign because uh, we, have the, uh, we have this huge burden of children dying. So, a lot of it is, uh, it is uh, trying to build uh, awareness uh, among the larger public and it is that's why it's called everyone because it's uh, everyone's job so we need to really create the awareness and uh, in the research that we have done we know that uh, people are aware of the of the issue but they, they are not aware of the extent of the problem so what we are doing is make you know build up the, building up the awareness through uh, events like this where the public come uh, people come and to also create uh, uh, advocates out of people to make sure that uh, to make sure that uh, not only do they read about it, not only do they sign up for it, but they do something tangibly uh, towards us. All the photos here, most of them at least, have, have a soul. They inspire you. Well, I have seen Raghu's works for 40 years, almost 45 years. So his work is extraordinary and sensitive that everybody knows. But every time he does something different and new, he doesn't repeat himself. We are into that consumerist society where it's glitz and glamour and you don't you don't get to see what is happening in real India. And unless we know what is happening in real India, how are we going to correct it? I think, you know, if you live in any developing country, I think there's so much of poverty around 
uh, that you kind of are not really you know that sensitive to it anymore and I think when you see a uh, artist or a photographer or a filmmaker put it on a platform where we can actually make people pause and look at it uh, I'm hopeful that you know it at least makes you think